My question is to the Minister for Social Development and Employment. What reports has she received about traders acting fraudulently when presented with work and income vouchers? The Honourable Paula Bennett. Mr Speaker, an undercover investigation has confirmed some second-hand dealers are abusing work and income vouchers. Uh, nine second-hand traders were visited in the May sting, and five of these traders illegally offered cash or other goods in exchange for the vouchers. These traders have, re have received warnings and have been referred to the police. Following our investigations, one trader has shut down their shop. This trader relied heavily on the profits from this unethical activity. Chair Goodhue. To the Minister, what is the Government doing to crack down on dodgy second-hand traders? Uh, the Honourable Paula Bennett. Mr Speaker, we are sending all traders a strong message. We will continue to carry out these undercover checks. We will take action against those operating unethically. We will blacklist them and we will inform the police. Mr Speaker, this unethical behaviour doesn't only rip off the taxpayer but also leaves beneficiaries significantly disadvantaged. These vouchers are loans made as a benefit advance and at the end of the day that's got to be paid back when an unethical dealer sets an item at a higher price, that cost is ultimately paid by the beneficiary. Question number 10, Darian Fenton. 